Hallo, ich bin in Berlin in Deutschland. Ich bin so glücklich. Ich kann endlich wieder Deutsch sprechen. Aber mein Deutsch ist ein bisschen kaputt. Ich habe Apfelschorle und Veggieballen gekauft. Um, we're at a little food hall in Kreuzburg. And yeah, I'm just here for the weekend with my mom. And I'm so excited. I've missed Germany so much. Okay, so Berlin is the vegan capital of the world, but I don't think that that registered for me in the way that this, out of every single place in the world, this is gonna be the easiest one for me to be a vegan. It has proven to be so true. Every single restaurant, every single place I'm walking past has vegan signs like in the window. So many vegan restaurants, so many menus with like at least like half plant-based options. So I'm currently at a vegan sushi restaurant and just had the best vegan sushi probably of my life. This is heaven. Hello guys and welcome to day two. Currently I'm at a cafe in kind of like the bottom part of Prenzlauerberg. I heard about this cafe from um, Unjaded Jade and it does not disappoint. It is stunning in here. There are so many plants. I'm just chilling here for a bit with my book and getting some work done and then I'm gonna do some shopping and some thrifting. This kind of whole area reminds me so much of the town that I lived in in southern Germany. Seeing all the cobblestones and the older like German architecture in this town um, or this part of Berlin, this neighborhood. Very happy. I'm gonna read and enjoy the scenery. Okay, this is not my best angle. I went to the sanctuary, vegan, Italian, vegan, artesian, no workshop. And you know what, I just decided I'm literally just gonna dedicate this entire video to talking about the vegan food because, oh my god, I'm, like, I couldn't even wait, I'm sorry. I'm sitting in a park, listening to the bald and the beautiful, as per, and I got a croissant and a focaccia. Everywhere I go, it just looks incredible. And I eat very well as a vegan, I don't want to play to any misconception, but it's rare for me, now having been vegan for almost a year, to discover something completely new, like new textures and new tastes, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's so good. There's something incredibly validating about speaking another language, but not just for like, for kicks, but like having a mission and utilizing the second language as a tool to complete said mission is just mwah, so good. Although, as I said earlier, my German is a bit broken since it has been almost a year since I lived in this country. I've loved ordering food again and asking questions in German and complimenting people in German. I just, this is it's such a cool country and such a cool city. I love Berlin. So I'm here in the Koisburg area to tour a university, um, which I'm really excited about. And I really, I really hope I like it because if so, let me just say, Berlin might be the place. And if I don't like it, I'm probably going to text my advisor and say, Universities, Berlin, we gotta, <laughs> like, ASAP. So that's in about an hour, and until then, I'm just gonna explore the neighborhood and visualize my life here. So good. Look, it's so cool. It's so cool. Ich liebe Berlin. Ich liebe Deutschland. Ich habe Deutschland vermissen. Okay, wo bist meine Mutter? Ist die Frage. Das ist die Frage. I 
literally the hottest person of my entire life on that campus tour. So I think I'm going to the university. No, I really enjoyed the campus tour and I was quite glad because I want to study here. This is one of my top cities on my list and I was so stressed that I wasn't going to actually like the facilities or the university approach and I did. It was so good. I'm feeling very happy and relieved. Currently I'm on my way to the Soho House Berlin to go meet my friend Adrian from Germany when I lived in uh, southern Germany, which is cool. I haven't seen him in at least a year, if not a year and a half. And he was one of the first people I met when I moved to Germany and we did some like YouTube collabs. Um, so it'll be cool to reconnect with him because now he's in Berlin. So yeah, I'm meeting him and a friend at Soho House and then I think he's just going to show me around some of his favorite places. Let's go. Alright, good morning guys and welcome to the last day in Berlin. Um, last night I didn't film much because I went to the Soho house where you can't film apparently and then um, I was with Adrian and his friend and then we you know went around walked through Berlin sat outside somewhere and it was just nice so um, I just got carried away and didn't film. Anyway today um, I have a bit less of a plan I'm just gonna go to a cafe right now that I also saw um, on Jade's channel and go get some breakfast and then I'm gonna meet my mom and go to an art flea market and then I have a couple other loose plans and I will update you guys when they fall into place. I will be wearing the same thing today for multiple reasons. One, because when you're on the go, it's just more convenient to outfit repeat. And two, because Tommy doesn't look good. Okay, let's go to Cafe Neun Drei. Off the Rosa Luxembourg Platz. I'm meeting my friend Adrian again for lunch and then I have to leave Berlin in like two hours. So yeah, just gonna be quick, chill, easy. Let's go. It's vlogging in public. So fucking awkward. It is literally the most awkward thing one could ever do. Mm -hmm. 